name is James Newman. Today I'm going to be walking you through the conformance checker in Salonis, which allows you to utilize artificial intelligence and process mining to determine the root causes for different variances. So we're in our call center data again, and the way to get to a conformance checker is to create a new sheet. It's one of the built-in options you have here. And so in the bottom left there, that card there, conformance, so we're going to select that. It presents it with three options. You can either mine the target process where you select the particular variants that make up your happy path, or you can upload a process model in BPMN format in order to use as a reference point. Or Salonis has a process modeling tool of their own that you can go in and use inside of Salonis. So we're going to mine this current process. And so it brings up this screen here where you can see all the, the variants, kind of like the Variant Explorer. And right now we're on the, just have the first one selected, which has 18% of the cases. You see we can add multiples. This one is where there was an unresolved issue and then a negative response. We don't really want that one as part of our happy path. Um, but this third option here where there's no greeting and you go straight to authenticate caller, that's not necessarily desired, but that is okay. So we're gonna leave that in. So we're gonna launch the analysis with these two variants, about 27% covered. And it's going to calculate the numbers here and give us how many cases are conforming to those paths, the number of cases, the number of violations, the number of different ways that it deters from that path. The impact on cycle time, on steps per case out of the box, you can add extra KPIs here. You can add cost per case, number of touches, things like that. And then you get the, the top violations, right? So in this situation, 30% of the calls actually had a negative response. That's not good. We want to dig in further and see what that impact is. So 30% of us have this violation and it can add a kind of a half a step. But what's really nice is that you can drill in and actually perform a root cause analysis to understand which maybe department, which rep, which customer has this correlation with this different violation. So you can perform the root cause analysis there and understand kind of which the correlations between your data a little better. Thank you. Good luck.